In this video, I'm going to talk about accountability, the importance of it, and some symptoms of coming off of antidepressants, particularly sertraline. I've talked about this before, but good morning. Good morning. Let's not talk about what's going on up here. Um, I guess we're talking about it. I don't know, but that is that. Breaking out. Real life, no filter. That bike back there, we're about to take it to the park in this Texas heat. And it's around 10 in the morning. Oh, you guys see the two cats? Hi, babies. Hi, babies. <laughs> say hi to the tubes. We're going to ride that bike. Not the Peloton because we don't like being at home all the time. And we're going to go to the park. Accountability is so important, guys. And sometimes all it takes is this one friend. This one friend. And yesterday I did not want to go to the gym. Yesterday I, it was my day off. I slept most of the day. And that's part of the side effects of coming off these antidepressants. Um, I didn't have my health insurance anymore. <laughs> I've been in between jobs and it just it's not something I want to be on for the rest of my life. Clearly I need it probably. I don't know. But I talk to a professional about this. Talk to your doctor. Don't go by what I'm saying. I weaned myself off of the medication and Part of the side effects are extreme dizziness, extreme fatigue. The fatigue is insane. And what else? Extreme sadness. Some of those are the side effects. I've weaned myself off of this stuff before, and the first time around was harder, which is last year, and I made a video about it, where I, had, I felt like I had the flu for over four weeks every day. I'm talking body aches, my body hurts, nausea, literally like the flu. On my 32nd birthday, I was in bed all day because I was shivering and just felt sick. So I'm grateful that this time around I don't have that side effects because that side effect because then I'm able to work. So uh, for example, last night before last, which is on my day off, I slept a good eight hours and I felt so exhausted the next day, which was yesterday, ran some errands and then took a four hour nap, almost five hours. The cat's drinking water. Hydrate, hydrate baby, hydrate. <laughs> and a lot of sleeping. A lot of sleeping. And this isn't sleeping to avoid the day. This is just sleeping from how tired I feel from coming off the medication. So definitely a side effect and headache. And I think that's all I can think of. But we are going to go to the park, ride that bike for about 30 minutes, need to get some groceries and back to the accountability. It's so important because sometimes all it takes is that one friend to keep checking in on you when you can't really, when you struggle to be accountable with yourself. So I have a friend that's always checking on me. And last night I didn't want to go to the gym and I, t I just was honest. I said, Hey, look, I, he has family members that have gone through what I'm going through. So he's very understanding he is very aware of the discontinuation syndrome or discontinuation effects, which is essentially coming off of these medications. So he knows. He knows the fatigue. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. And I said, hey, I, I literally like slept for like four or five hours, even though I slept yesterday or last night, and I feel so tired. I just feel so tired. And he said, come on come on, you can do this. Just let's do 30 minutes at the gym. We can do this. So if it wasn't for my friend, I probably would have not gone. And my friend just, I, I said, Hey, I don't, I really don't feel like it. Even though I've been doing all this sleeping, I'm very tired, probably from sleeping so much. And he said, just go to show up for 30 minutes. Come on, we can do this. And 
that positivity kept me going and I ended up going to the gym. I ended up training back and shoulders a little bit. And last night, honestly, I just, I don't know what it was. I'm not throwing religion on anybody, but something just told me to turn to God. <laughs> they say that through our hardest times, our darkest times, that some people don't ha don't know what else to do, but they turn to God. So I just went on YouTube, put on a prayer, wrote something down in my journal, and just said, hey, I, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just essentially just listened to that prayer and the prayer was about putting things in God's hands. Of course, taking some action, right? I'm submitting applications, but leaving it to God. And this constant rumination, constant anxiety, thinking in the future that is so overwhelming to me, overbearing. Decided just to leave it to God. Sorry, guys. I'm looking away because I'm staring at my cat because he's just adorable. Leave it to God. And I just asked for positivity just give me some positivity some strength some desire to do more things some hope to just keep going you know and I just woke up this morning and decided I'm, I'm going to ride the bike I'm going to go to the park even if it's for 30 minutes and I think my body needs some nature some fresh air even if it's hot even if it's triple digits, my legs, I'm wearing shorts. My legs are so pale from not getting any sunlight. My body hasn't gotten sunlight and I need that. So that is kind of all over the place again. Sorry, no bullet points, but extreme, extreme fatigue. Very grateful that this time around, I don't have the severe body aches, guys, that is something I don't wish on anyone. I mean, like you have a flu every single day. Your bones, your body hurts, you're nauseous, you don't want to eat, you're shivering, you're just in pain, and physical pain, that's how it was. And these medications, maybe they help some people. I didn't notice a huge difference in taking the medications and maybe... I should continue. I don't know. I just felt like it just felt like a band-aid. It didn't feel natural. I don't know how to explain it. Some of you have recommended ashwagandha, which I've taken in the past. Some of you have recommended St. John's wort, which I may look in which I may look into these things. And I did start taking vitamins again just because I hadn't taken vitamins in a long time, but yeah, we we're going to go to the park and I lost some subscribers, which kind of made me sad because I feel that I'm not being positive to be around. So people like don't want to be around me, but at the same time, it is what it is. Maybe my videos are boring. I don't think they're that interesting, but to some subscribers, they are relatable and people have asked me to make more videos so I'm making more videos and I would just hope that I'm helping people but to me if people are leaving that means I'm not which I'm just going to keep going that's part of life we are going to ride this bike finally today because on my days off guys just being real when I hair hairstyling being a hairstylist you have some we, we, weird times you go into work depending on your schedule so like some days I don't go into work until three o'clock and I leave like at eight some days I work all day like 10 to 8 and today I work three to eight and normally on those days that I work a little bit later I will literally sleep in until 10 to even noon even though I went to bed at like 11 so I will sleep over 10 hours and I'm grateful that today my body woke up and wasn't so exhausted maybe the prayer worked I don't know but 
yeah, I'm not preaching religion on anyone. I just, it's just something I can't explain that called out to me to put that on. But love my cats in the background. They're so cute. And we're going to take this bike. Enjoy the park. I'm still overwhelmed by life. It scares me a lot, but that's also part of the anxiety. Like, and maybe this may help someone understand how it is. For instance, I'm getting these assessments. I'm getting these interviews for jobs, and they're still corporate jobs. And I've come to the realization that they all just suck. Like, that's just life. These jobs, a lot of people don't like their job. Even at my job, I get to talk to a lot of people doing their hair and asking them what they do for work. And a lot of people are not, <laughs> I'd say 95% of the people don't like what they do. They're just in it for the paycheck. And I've come to the realization that I need to survive at this point. So I don't know how. I hope I don't get the freeze that I got, the anxiety freeze when I tried to do work that I hated. But that's part of the anxiety is like I, I was saying, I'm already thinking of the jobs and I'm like, man, I hope I can do the job or will I be in this job forever? Or what if I don't, I can't be in it for more than, I don't know. It's just, you start to catastrophize and start to ruminate and it's just a horrible way to think. And I just am trying to let it go and let it be. And life just feels so overwhelming. That's the only way I can describe it, but I need to go ride this bike. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>